Good day everyone, Groshkin here, and on today's episode, we are going to put some Expel paint protection on the Corvette. So what we want to do is protect our sill plates. Now we do have a little bit of scuffing, really not much. I bought the car new, so I might even have to do just a little bit of polishing. Uh, they are clear coated, I believe, these ones. Uh, the other side is worse than this side, but we'll see. So we're going to clean them up and we're going to put the Expel on. Now you can make a slip solution for those of you that don't uh, uh, or have never installed uh, paint protection film. And you can use like some um, baby shampoo, a couple drops in something like this. Now I'm actually using the Expel installation gel. And if you look at it, it is very, very thick. Like it's, uh, yeah, it's just really, really thick. And then after we're done, you know, cleaning, if I have to do some polishing, I just have some eraser here from CarPro. There's my actual polish. And here's the tools that I'm going to use uh, to put it in. I thought these were interesting. I found them on Amazon because they give the Durometer uh, hardness. So I think they're great for beginners because you get to see sort of what you like. Uh, this way, when you buy squeegees, you don't buy ones that are too soft or too hard. You get to know, you know what you like or what works for you. Uh, in your particular situation. Okay, so here's what the Expel looks like. If you're wondering for the C7 Corvette, these are the ones I ordered uh, directly from Expel. There's the part number, if you wanna take a look at the part number. So let's open them up and see what they actually look like inside. All right, so this is what they look like inside. So as you can see, they are quite thin and they are just on this sort of translucent uh, piece of paper. And what we have are the, I guess the center strips for the actual Corvette part. And then we have a part that's going to go around on the paint. Now I just gave it a quick spray off and I wanna do a final inspection before I put the paint protection film down and look at that. You can see there is a little scuff mark. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to just try to polish that out just because I don't wanna put my paint film over scuff marks. So I figure because it's so small, let's just give it a quick buff by hand and take a look and see what it looks like. Just a tiny, tiny bit here. And I don't know if I wanna bring the polisher out for that. All right, so we're gonna give it a little bit of electronic polish job. So we got the Minzerna, just a fast uh, gloss. It was a 400. Not sure what it's replaced with. And then I have uh, just a Roops uh, ultra fine finishing pad. All right, so we did a buff there and actually, yeah, it looks really good. So very, very pleased with that. It did take out the slight scuffing. And you can see here I'm spraying on the slip solution and it is thick. This stuff actually looks like I'm kind of spraying on like a, some type of jelly. No, we don't want to get our interior wet with this stuff so we can take a little wipe here, but we'll give it a little wipe later too. So now you just pull it away from the backing and then be very careful and then place it down onto the slip solution. Now be careful when you're taking it off the backing plate because you don't want it to fold in on itself because don't ask me how I know, but this stuff can get really sticky on itself. So you wanna be careful. And then once you actually have it down, it's not that bad. All right, and I just put it on and I'll give you a closer look. And now I can appreciate how viscous or how thick this Expel stuff is because it's very easy to just move it around like here and then I'll be able to squeegee out the bubbles in a second. And you can see here, I'm just gonna line it up all the way around there so we can just kind of pull it a bit and make sure that we have uh you know it's fully in place so i'm going to try with my 70 my soft and you can see i've just squeegeed it and look how much came out just like that and you can see there we are right around you can barely see the paint protection film i got it perfectly around there and yeah i think it's better just to do this first and then we'll do the we'll do the center one and you can see how much i'm actually taking off here just like this all right so you can see my job and i actually moved up to the 90 i needed a hard one to get some air bubbles out and you can see there's the stuff there and I just wrapped it right around there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up well enough, but anyway, there doesn't seem to be any air bubbles or anything. I'll just kind of move with my thumb the gel and there you can see, it looks really good. I'm happy with the first part of it done. And there you can see maybe where it ends. There's the line, where's the line? 
right there. Quite happy with it. So now it's time to put the centerpiece on that protects the actual Corvette part. This is what everyone's been waiting for and this is what everyone wants to do, wants to probably see me do. Now you can see here, I'm just kind of smushing it on, uh, if that's a word there. And it's, like I said, it's very forgiving. And the one thing I found is you can never use too much of this stuff. So it just works great. And you can see there, I'm just spraying a little bit underneath. And now all we gotta do is squeegee it out. Now I quickly learned that a squeegee just does not work on this door sill. And the reason is the Corvette letters are slightly raised and it just, trust me, it just, it doesn't work. So I bought these from Amazon. There's a little magnet in them. So it kind of holds them together and they're like little hockey sticks and each different color is a different hardness. Now these things are a godsend and honestly, I think I just wouldn't have got a good job without, uh, without using this pen, as you can see. And this little pen thing works a lot better than the big squeegee because as you can see, I can sort of just ever so slightly get all my bubbles out. To be honest, this is working better than I thought. Wasn't sure how this was going to come out. Yeah, this little thing is absolutely awesome. You can see there, it looks like it's got a little bit of high spots. You can see there, it's starting to look really, really good. Now this here, it's not showing up. There we go, a little bit of a bubble there. You can see, actually see I pushed it with my finger out. So you just gotta work it very slowly, but I find these tools help. They do wonders, because this squeegee is just too big and bulky for that, for this part here. And once you got most of the water worked out, it looks like you are good to go. So just give it a wipe. There you go, you can see it is clean. If you have any tiny little water bubbles, they will evaporate over time. But if you have something big like this and it kind of annoys you, just take a different kind of squeegee and slowly you can push it out. And there you go. Look at that with that tool. Now just give it a quick wipe and it is gone. Perfect. Now on the other side here, driver's side, I had this black here and this was the worst side. And you know what? I was worried that this was not going to come out. So just to show you, you can polish these sills. Now, I don't know, uh, you know, how bad they have to get until they're not polishable, but I think they got a little bit of clear coat on them. So they're safe to polish as long as your scuff marks are not deep. And then I just used, like I did on the other side, some eraser here. Now I'm not going to expect you to watch me do the second side because you watched me do the first side. And you know what? This side's exactly the same. So all I can say with this video is protect your Corvette sail plates because these things do scuff very easily. And if you got another type of car, you can always just put paint protection, you know, where your feet go so it doesn't get scuffed up. Anyway, that's it for the video. Hopefully you've all enjoyed. That's it. Garage King over and out and I hope to see you on the next one.